Mike Bailey making a strong case to be a vice president for Ali Mabel. And we are off to the races. Dream matches don't get much dreamier. Look at how slow they're taking this. They're sizing each other up, not rushing into anything. It just shows the respect they have for each other. And you hear the dueling chants. I, I mean, certainly fervor for Mustafa Ali. But there are also fans who don't believe it, who see the hypocrisy, who believe and, and trust and love in Speedball Mike Bailey as a leader of independent wrestling, as a standout of independent wrestling. Speedball Mike Bailey said it himself in the lead up to this match. If Mustafa Ali thinks he's gonna remove everybody that's on top and position himself as the leader for good, I think he's got another thing coming. They're absolutely the, the red and the blue fans here. Absolutely split here. But Sorry, what was that, Jack? I don't think you can fault a guy like Ali for trying to make wrestling a better place. I think, I think the fact that he wants to improve it and help guide us into a better future for pro wrestling is something to be commended. Sure, but, you, but, but why target a speedball Mike Bailey? What has speedball Mike Bailey done that is corrupt and selfish? What doors of opportunity has he opened only to, to close behind him? Well, I'm a fan of Mike Bailey. I'm not going to say anything negative about the Cover. guy, but I think if, if someone like Ali says he wants to make it better and the first thing Mike Bailey says is, I don't want it, I think that's kind of a reflection of where he's at. In the feeling out process here, Speedball Mike Bailey with the handshake not administered by Mustafa Ali. Well, it's interesting. We talk about that feeling out process and we talk about the respect they have for each other. I actually have a lot of respect for Ali for not taking the handshake there. Ali said certain things, uh, said a lot of things about Bailey. He's not gonna take his hand at the first handshake and sell out everything he said about himself and his beliefs and where he wants to take pro wrestling. Wants to make speedball Mike Bailey earn it. Wants to make speedball Mike Bailey prove himself. Speedball Mike Bailey has been everywhere. He has faced everyone. In many ways, he's done everything. But he's never faced Mustafa Ali. And Ali himself told us earlier on tonight, out of all the matchups that have been announced for his 2024 World Tour campaign, this is the one that got the most buzz. This is the one that everyone wanted to see. And we're seeing it here in Prestige Wrestling. Yes, and wanted to make sure it was at Prestige Wrestling. It's the Iowa caucus, you could say, of the Mustafa Ali presidential run here. Very important, and look, this is an important stop on the campaign trail. If Ali doesn't find a way to beat Mike Bailey, to beat one of his rivals here, it's gonna be a rough run the rest of the election season. Speedball Mike Bailey with an arm drag. Mustafa Ali ducks the line. Catches him with an arm drag of his own. Sends Bailey against the ropes. Springboard arm drag. Both men keeping up. This is a good one, Jordan Castle. They don't get much better. Host, oh, Mustafa Ali looking to steal it here. But Speedball Mike Bailey kicks out just barely. Ali saw a quick moment and took advantage of it. Mustafa Ali with the leap, excuse me, Speedball with the leap front, but Mustafa Ali catches him, shoulders down, cover now from Bailey. Again, these two so evenly matched, such unbelievable cover here. Such unbelievable, diverse athletes, chameleon professional wrestlers. Well, these guys are as fast as they get as well. That kick, that lethal 
pinpoint accuracy right to the jaw kick. That is a strategic advantage for Speedball. Those strikes and him leaning into that is going to make it very difficult for Ali to have a successful campaign season. When we talk about quickness, how about accuracy? How about the striking game of Speedball Mike Bailey and Mustafa Ali, though I would argue Speedball Mike Bailey maybe outdoes the candidate, at least in that regard. In strikes, that's a tough, tough to argue. Speedball about as good as they get. We talked about it earlier with Kevin Blackwood, I think Speedball Mike Bailey might be the very best at strikes. You heard it from Mustafa Ali. He asked Speedball Mike Bailey, do you know who I am? I'm the X Division champion. A title that Mustafa Ali captured from Chris Sabin less than 48 hours ago at no surrender. Of course, who could forget Speedball Mike Bailey, a former X Division champion in his own right. Ali, no doubt trying to get in his head. Handspring there, misses the mark, but the Speedball kicks absolutely land. Finishing it off with the Ensiguri and Mustafa Ali sent outside the ring. And Mike Bailey looking to capitalize on the offense here. We might see some high fly maneuvering. Big bicycle kick there, keeps Ali outside the ring. Ali, Ali looked like he tried to stop the dive, but ended up taking the strike. And ended up taking the triangle moonsault from one speedball, Mike Bailey. Impressive maneuvering by Mike Bailey. He had a plan and he made it happen. But again, Jack, Mustafa Ali, the new X Division champion. Speedball Mike Bailey, a former X Division champion and current member of the TNA roster. You gotta think a win here against Ali would bring him to the front of the line for a future X Division championship opportunity. Someone like Mike Bailey, I'm, I'm sure when he gets home tonight, he'll think about that. I'm sure when the match is over, he'll think about that. Speedball is someone who I think truly lives in the moment and I think truly focuses on the task at hand. And so I think that's all secondary to him. I think today he just wants to beat Ali because he's so focused on that task. And maybe very close to beating Ali, perhaps thinking Ultima Weapon? No, Ali, back up to a vertical base. No water in the pool, but a big sick kick from Mustafa Ali. The intelligence to go closer to the, to the corner so the uh, aerial maneuver doesn't hit. But again, the striking game continues to put Bailey back in control. Yeah, speedball Mike Bailey saying, anything you can kick, I can kick better. And now we are in a dangerous part of town. Sticking Hurricane Rana, but Mustafa, Mustafa Ali caught him! Oh my God! And it looks like Ali landed a little rough there, holding the ankle. Ali landed a little bit rough there. How about Speedball Mike Bailey? Speed, well, Speedball Mike Bailey landed harshly as well, but Ali, our leader into the future of wrestling here as our president, if he's injured here. 450 springboard splash onto the injured extremity. Even though he hurt his ankle, Ali was able to continue the offense, and now I think we see a target. Well, we know Speedball Mike Bailey loves to employ the Flamengo driver. How's that gonna work? How's he gonna get Mustafa Ali up into position with a clipped wing? Well, Ali trying to see if Chad Rico will ask Bailey if he wants to stop. Gotta be merciful, really. Yeah, you know Speedball Mike Bailey isn't gonna throw this one out that quickly. The eyes of the wrestling world on this, our main event. For months, people have been buzzing about this matchup. For months, people have been dreaming about this matchup. And now, the dream has come true. But perhaps, for Speedball Mike Bailey, the dream has become a nightmare. Well, those strikes earlier on had Speedball Mike Bailey looking like he had this one in the bag, but that's where the resilience of an Ali really plays into this. Someone who has fought from underneath a lot in his career and has really fought in a world of, of wrestlers who are twice his size, knew how to fight through that, and now puts himself back in control. I think the resilience of Ali cannot be understated. Well, again, Mustafa Ali has always been an underdog here. Look at this! 
Catching speedball Mike Bailey in the center of the ring. He may have no choice but to give up Jack Farmer. What an incredible maneuver, wrenching back on that arm after the 450. Just a combination of damage that Bailey needs to find a way to get to this bottom rope or this one's as good as over. There is a country between Speedball Mike Bailey and the bottom rope and you gotta think every inch he crawls, it adds torque to that arm. But somehow, someway, Speedball makes it. Speedball is someone who has just got a set, a resilient underdog mentality. I feel like he's one of the few guys that the more of a beating he takes and the harder the fight gets, the stronger he gets. Well, how about Ali? You talk about an underdog. He started his nationally televised career as a tournament ultimate. He went undrafted. He had life-changing main events and, and, and life-changing briefcases stolen from him. He has persevered through the toughest of times to become the superstar you see here. But Speedball Mike Bailey gonna have to do a lot of persevering after that neck breaker. Leg hooked. Still only a two. Beautiful neck breaker there, and Ali starting to get a little frustrated, starting to get a little upset that Bailey's still in this thing. Hanging on on the campaign trail, not getting put away. I think that Ali wants to end this thing a bit faster because I think he knows the farther it goes, the more resilient a Mike Bailey gets. Yeah, but Mustafa Ali has to know speedball Mike Bailey has made a career out of surviving, sometimes for over an hour at a time. This guy does not know the meaning of the word quit, Jack Farmer. And that's something that Ali's definitely learning. Look at, look at the story his face is telling. Look at the body language here. You notice Ali came in a little jovial at, at the start of this. He, he didn't seem like he was taking it quite as seriously. He respected Bailey, but you could tell he was having fun. Now he's looking frustrated. Well, he's not having any fun right now off that kick from Bailey. Yeah, he he's definitely knows he's in a fight. I think he realizes everything he's heard about Mike Bailey is true. And I think he's learning that... Oh my goodness! Gets caught by Speedball Mike Bailey in the arm bar. And look at Mustafa Ali doing everything he can to keep those fingers clasped that does so in vain. Somehow makes his way to the bottom rope, breaks out the arm bar. But you gotta think, Jack Farmer, even a few seconds in the clutches of Speedball Mike Bailey is detrimental. If he was able to fully extend that arm and that arm bar, it would have been over. We were actually a very small few degrees difference from ending this matchup. I love Ali how he was able to get right back to the offense though and hit that drop kick right back on that arm and that shoulder. The arm and the shoulder really the tail of the night tonight here at Prestige and it looks like it might be working a little bit more here. Well, the tail of this matchup here at this juncture, both Bailey and Ali with injured arms. Speedball saying, you're gonna injure my arm? I'll give you a taste of your own medicine. I'll drag you down to hell with me. Look at this, Ali has Bailey measured. Lands on his feet, rolls through. But gets caught by Speedball Mike Bailey in midair, my God. Timing, precision, speed, accuracy. All of it combined for what could be one of the greatest offensive, defensive maneuvers of the, of the match, of the night. This may be Mike Bailey's opportunity to unseat the favorite in this campaign. Speedball Mike Bailey really, really nursing that arm. He regains a vertical pace. What is he thinking here, Jack? Ali on those spaghetti legs. Ali striking back and Mike Bailey, I think he feels like he's in control here. And it looks like when you stare at these two men's eyes that they both agree that Mike Bailey might be in pole position. And yeah, we talk about the athletic prowess of both of these men. That's not what we're seeing here. This one's getting down and dirty. This is getting knocked down, drag out here. Trading forearms, but Speedball Mike Bailey putting the educated feet to good use. Do you hear the sound, Jack? The disbelief in the eyes of the presidential candidate as Mike Bailey looks to continue. Standing shooting star press, legs hooked, but a kick out from Ali.
And that is the beauty of a Mike Bailey. You take away his arms, he still has three other limbs to attack you with. I think that Ali's realizing that this focusing on one arm isn't going to be a broad enough strategy. But this time it's Ali catching the feet of Bailey. Big kick of his own roundhouse variant. Now sends Bailey against the ropes. But Bailey catches Ali with a tornado DDT. And Mustafa's was rocked. Bailey needs to capitalize. Bailey needs to go now. This is the chance to get the win. Looking for the German suplex, but Ali had an answer. Again! Tornado DDT, this could be it! No! Ali is just disappointed in the results of that pin attempt there. You can see it's not frustration, it's sorrow, it's disappointment. He's gutted right now that he didn't get the win here because he I think he's feeling like he's running out of opportunities. He's running out of offense. What can he do to a Mike Bailey to put him away? I think he realized that this was a highly anticipated matchup for a reason. It's because Mike Bailey is as real as it gets. Well, not only that, Jack Farmer, but Ali has to put his money where his mouth is. It is put up or shut up. Everything he said about speedball Mike Bailey in that video is disproven. And Ali cannot afford that! My God, right to the phalanges! When you're someone like Ali on the campaign trail, uh, trying to gain followers, trying to get the votes, trying to get the will of the people, you can't do that if you're unable to put away your opponents, if you're unable to get the wins. You have to be able to back up everything you say, and Mike Bailey is making that as hard as he can for Ali to do. You see Ali pleading and begging with Speedball Mike Bailey to stay down. But Speedball will not go down. Speedball will not go quietly into the night. He doesn't know how, Jack. Speedball has no quit in him. He's been in the ring. Oh my god, the yard bar once again. Back to that same injured arm. The shoulders S down, Ali has got to be careful. Now the shoulders of Bailey trading covers back and forth. Speedball, double knees to the chest of Ali, knocking the wind out of him. Ali, great S grip to stay in this thing, to not let the arm bar get locked. Tried to get a pin out of it, but now is set up. Oh my! Cover from Bailey! But a kick out from Ali! Gnarly, gnarly impact there off the kick, Jack. I think that I think that for two seconds Ali was completely unconscious. I think for two seconds he was completely out and out of instinct threw that shoulder up at the last second. Look at Speedball Mike Bailey is a legitimate fourth degree black belt in Taekwondo. Strikes do not get more lethal. I think this is the first time I've ever seen Mike Bailey in a situation where even he seems to be a little bit in disbelief that his opponent is still in this thing. Grabbing at the hair of Mustafa Ali, but Ali with a bit of a stutter there! Unable to evade that on the apron. And I think Bailey perhaps thinking double knees once again here, Farmer. Look at that face. Nobody home! And the knees of Speedball Mike Bailey ground to a fine powder. That injured arm sent careening into the corner post. This is not good for Speedball. Took too much time on that backflip there and it cost him. And Ali, of course, using that post there, really probably taking that arm out of socket. What do we have? Tope Suicida risking life and limb for main event glory. Prestige wrestling forever. We are seeing just how important this is for both men and just how much respect Ali must have for Bailey to take that kind of risk to get back in this thing. I believe Bailey still has a chair wrapped around his person, making lemonade out of lemons and using it against Ali. Again, discretion of referee Chad Rico. I, I, I guess if he landed in the chair, you can't really consider it a foreign object. At that point, it's a tire. 
Ali kicking Bailey outside the ring. He's not done with the dives. Ali saw success the first time around. But went to the wall one too many times. Asai Moonsault from Speedball Mike Bailey. <laughs> that, that was as pretty as it gets. Beautiful, no doubt, but I mean devastating for Mustafa Ali. Jordan, we call great moments and great moves all the time. That one took my breath away. And this might take Mustafa Ali's breath away. Bailey thinking ultimate weapon. This is for all the marbles. But can he hit it? Ultimate weapon gets stopped in midair. And now Ali in position. Ali here to seal the deal, here to count the votes. 450 splash, but this time it's Bailey evading. Sends Ali face first into the turnbuckle and both combatants down. My God, what a match, Jack Farmer. Bailey using Ali's own momentum against him to send him crashing into that turnbuckle has just leveled him and it didn't take all the energy away from Bailey because Bailey doesn't have any left. Both men so exhausted, a battle of attrition. I mean, Jack Farmer, fans speculated, fans dreamed, fans pondered when this matchup was first announced, ourselves included. I don't think anyone expected to see something like this outlasting every last expectation. Everyone wanted to see this, and there was only one place a match like this could happen, and it was at Prestige. Both combatants back up to a vertical base on the corner on opposite ends of the apron here. Both been able to get up, but neither actually back in the ring yet. Ali scaling the top turnbuckle. Again, high-risk athletic maneuvers, like an ultimate weapon, like a 450 splash. Already so dangerous, but after everything these men have put themselves through, potentially catastrophic. The difference here so far has absolutely been the strikes of Bailey versus the wrestling of Ali. Both men are fast, both men are quick, both men are sudden. But it's been that wrestling, that working the arm, that technical side of Ali versus the strikes of Bailey that has really been the tail of the tape here. Again, Ali going back to the injured arm, but Speedball Mike Bailey returning the favor. Getting up to the top rope here. Oh, this what is not gonna be good, Jack. What does Bailey have planned? Handful of hair. This could end the presidential run. Poison Rana! And Ali's in the middle of the ring. If Bailey can make the cover, this has got to be it. He's crawling. He gets there. But a moment too late. Hold on. Mustafa Ali catches him. The Pledge of Allegiance here. Center of the ring. Nowhere for Bailey to go. And he can't move. His arm been worked over this entire match. A long way to the ropes, Jordan. Speedball Mike Bailey is fading. Tries to get Mustafa on his shoulders, but back to the cross arm breaker. Ali reversing into a pitting predicament. But Bailey with the shoulders up. Rolls through again. That re Oh! Ali dodges the kick into the cover. But Bailey survives. The strike is missed. The strike is hit. This time the super kick lands. And now we've seen this a time or two before. Tornado kick. Slumped down in the corner. This is the chance for Bailey to put this one away. Ultimate weapon! But again, the knees meet the mat. And a big kick to the injured arm for good measure. Super kick! Bailey has survived many super kicks we saw against Breeze. But this one's going to get followed up with something a little different. 450 splash! Ali does it! The winner of your main event, Mustafa Ali! Bro, 
professional wrestling excellence.